Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are taking a look at Ahsoka, Tano, and Grogu from the Vintage Collection. This was a Walmart exclusive release, and as you can see, it is uh, one of the earliest examples of plastic-free packaging from Hasbro. And I like it because it's reminiscent of certain special releases that came out when I was a kid. I think the mini rigs were in boxes very similar to this. Uh, I am, and I know not everybody likes it, but I'm a proponent of getting rid of single-use plastics, and I like this box. I think it looks cool. If you're a mint and box collector, I, you know, I, I I open things up and put them on the shelf. I don't collect boxes, so... The packaging, while I enjoy looking at it, doesn't matter that much to me. You can see the uh, features, the different accessories. I love this uh, background they've got, this little diorama they built for the figures. And you can see what's actually included inside. So let's open this thing up and take a look at how Hasbro, or Kenner as it were, uh, but it's Hasbro, uh, is handling this new... I guess, paradigm in the toy world. Look at these. Uh, I like the little feature panels they've got here with uh, different scenes going on. All right. I'm excited. I, and I, I really do dig this packaging. It's There were a lot of releases in the original Kenner line that came in packaging exactly like this. All right. We've got our little legal piece of paper here. That Hasbro puts in everything now. We have a cardboard tray, and that, that is it. Uh, cardboard tray, the figure is attached here. Got a couple pieces of tape for our accessories and presumably Grogu. Soka is secure, and I'll tell you this right now, another reason I'm in favor of this is all she had was that loop around her waist holding her in place. She did not have that plastic tray that has warped so many of my figures over the years. I, I hate those plastic trays uh, quite a bit, uh, and, and I'm glad if they're going to be gone. All right, so there is Ahsoka. If for some reason you find it important to keep the tissue paper that the accessories are in intact, you're going to be disappointed. Oh, it's it's uh, actually a little bag. Oh my gosh, look at this tiny stuff in here. Wow. So everything. All right, that's everything. So we have this little tissue paper bag. And that is the entirety of what's holding your figures in place, which I am good with. Wow. All right, let's set all of those accessories aside. We'll take a look at those in a minute. And take a look at Ahsoka. Now the first thing, let's get that out of the way. Uh, the first thing I noticed, unfortunately, is the massive gap in the cut joint on her thigh right there. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty ugly. And that, you know, this is exactly the kind of thing people who are... Which, I understand people who are against losing the plastic window. I totally do. But I had to order this online anyway. I don't have a very good feeling that I'm ever going to see it in a store... So with something like that, it doesn't even make a difference because it's not like you can look and see something like this and choose your figure. Uh, so that looks pretty terrible. No way around that. Otherwise, uh, I really like this soft goods cloak she's got on, going on here. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. The hood, maybe a little, riding a little high, a little, whoops, sorry. But if it's kind of down over her face like that, not bad. There we go. Went and pulled everything out of place. Uh, all right. So I dig that. 
probably going to have to pull that head off if we want to remove cloak. I didn't even show, I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys the back. It's cut pretty nicely. It's a nice, really light material that seems to hang pretty well for this scale. You know, soft goods at this scale, or, or really any scale of action figure, are kind of hard to hit. Uh, but the good news is, if you don't like that thing, you can just take it off. All right. So we've got our head back on. Let's take a look at that portrait. And that's pretty incredible. We have well, we got a little spot of paint on the cheek. It's funny, as, as big of a proponent as I am of getting rid of the plastic window, this figure is giving us all kinds of reason, and it's difficult. I don't typically review things this small, so my, I'm having a little trouble with the focus. Forgive me for that. Uh, this release is giving us all kinds of reasons why that plastic window is pretty darn important. As you can see, there's a piece of blue paint on her jaw there. But again, I have no confidence I'll ever even see this release in a store. So, you know, who, who's to say? It looks like that's going to come off, which I shouldn't have to do that. But anyway, uh, portrait looks absolutely incredible. It's Rosario Dawson's face on something basically the size of a peanut. Pretty impressive. The paint looks great, except for that spot on her jaw which you can see i've already scratched off a pretty reasonable amount portrait looks great uh her costume you can see the sculpt and the paint is very nicely done and she's even got right here this sort of chain detail with the whatever these are talismans or whatever hanging off right there and I noticed she doesn't have anywhere to store her lightsabers. Oh, gosh. Sorry about the focus, you guys. This is, uh, again, I don't do figures this small very often. So articulation-wise, this scale is getting more and more advanced uh, as we go along. So you've got really nice shoulder joints there. Uh, the elbows got a pretty decent bend and then a swivel at the top of that joint. Uh, wrists are, looks like just a swivel, no, no joint in there, which is interesting because typically even at this scale, we do have a, a up or down or a left and right on these, but these just swivel. Uh, torso, she has got a ball joint sitting underneath the belt of her tunic that works really nicely. You've got a pretty decent range with that. Uh, and then hips. You can see kind of standard looking hip joints. Obviously, you can see those cuts on her thighs, which, I mean, part of the reason, part of the problem with those is the way the fabric is sculpted in her pants it's going to look bad anyway, but this one, there's just such a gap right there. Uh, and then the knee joints, these are very interesting. Great design on these, in my opinion. Because from the front, there's no joint at all. But then you have this tremendously deep bend that is concealed relatively well in the profile of the figure. I think they've done a really nice job with that. Uh, now, whether or not you're going to ever really be able to pose the figure to utilize that joint as much as uh, you, you could is another thing. But just the fact that it has that much range is pretty impressive. Uh, and then the ankles, just modern ankles. Let's take a look at the detail of these boots if we can. Got the armor on the front, uh, the straps on the back holding the armor piece on. What is this? Whoa. So, gosh, you guys. If, if this, if the premise of this video was look how great plastic free packaging is, then I failed completely. We have an entire paint app here that's out of place. So, you can see the shin armor 
has this darker gray and a lighter gray in the front. And over here, we've got the darker gray, lighter gray. And then this is just completely off to the side. This app should be here. And it's here. Gosh, oof, this is rough. And and what do you do now? Because I pre-ordered this from Walmart. Uh, you know, like I said, ordered it online. Do I return this? And just never have it uh you know what 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 are the options here because you know they're not going to be able to replace it i'm sure their their online stock is just gone so i i'll be interested to see what i can do about this but you can even see right here uh this notch right over here on this side this is a notch where the strap goes and over here that notch is way it's just way off to the side Ugh terrible terrible what what a what a calamitous figure this has turned out to be so let's take it a little take a look at her little friend grogu uh we have a reaching grogu which is a little bit different from any of the other ones that we've had at this scale and his arms he is an accessory here he is less an actual figure and more an accessory because you can see his arms there's no articulation all he has is the head is pegged on but the sculpted detail is tremendous. Uh, those eyes are painted nicely. Uh, I like the trim on his robe. Looks really good. So they did a very nice job with just this little chunk of plastic, essentially. He looks adorable, as he should. So because lightsabers, uh, you've got the clear sabers here with a tremendous amount of detail. Nice metallic pla uh, paint on the hilts. Although I'm trying to see now. It looks like there's missing paint here as well. Man, I'm never going to review anything this tiny again. I do not have the skills for it. But it looks like this is just clear that we're missing paint on this side. Uh, and this is all one piece. This does not have the removable blade, uh, which explains why she doesn't have anywhere to store these lightsabers. Uh, and then the shorter lightsaber, which has a name that escapes me right now. Uh, this one is fully painted, and you can tell. And then she comes with uh, her spirit animal. The Do they list the accessories on here anywhere? Wouldn't it be nice if they said, includes these other things? Because I can't remember what this avian creature is called. But it has a great sculpt. It has a fantastic paint job. Looks really good. And I would imagine I can clip onto her arm there. Or maybe, yeah, sort of. can sort of do that. So what are, what the heck are these? I have two of these. Oh, this is these are stones that Grogu is levitating. Okay, so I bet this is a lantern, correct? A nice translucent plastic, pretty good paint job on this. I like it. Okay, so this, it's so tiny, you can't tell. So this is the stone that they're working with because Ahsoka is training Grogu. And this is the ball from the Razor Crest, correct? Is that right? That he has? I believe that's correct. So, there you go. Alright, well, I'm disappointed that there are so many quality control issues with, really with just this figure, that illustrate exactly why the people who have problems with plastic-free packaging have problems. 
So I'm going to see what I can do. Hopefully I can get a replacement or something. I don't know. Uh, but there you go. It would be, aside from these these paint problems that we have and this sculpt issue, uh, this would be a really, really cool figure. And there is a single-carded version of this Ahsoka out now, pretty much. And, uh, you know, what I may have to do is just get one of those to replace this and keep all these neat accessories that I dig. So there you go. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. Tell your friends about needless things. And uh, tune in every Monday and Wednesday. And sometimes every Monday through Thursday, depending on how much stuff I have uh, in any given week. Or if I've got a theme like Thundercats. Gosh, the figure looks so cool. If it was, if it didn't have those flaws, this would be a fantastic figure. All right, thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you. Smash that like button if you like needless things.